We have got to start appreciating women better than what we do, fellas. And I mean that. I'm not, I'm not a player head, I'm a love motivator. And I'm not sitting up here trying to preach. <laughs> but sometimes, God puts something on your heart and we must obey Jesus. <laughs> fellas, let me explain something to you. When God gives you a great woman, respect the gift that God gives you. Because what he will do is take that gift away from you, rewrap it, and give it to another man brand new. Yeah, I hear you ladies. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Y'all clapping a little bit early. <laughs> it is hard for a man to be a man. We carry the weight of the world on our shoulders. It is our job to make sure that you want for nothing. It is our job to make sure that you are protected, respected, not only as a woman, but as my queen. And some of you men need to step up to the plate because women get tired of your shit. They start to do it on their own and with each other. <laughs> now, ladies, my ladies, I want you to get loud for me. If I can talk grown to you for just a moment, let me hear you say amen. amen. Let me hear you say amen again. Amen. Okay, it is a sealed deal. We have locked the confirmation. Y'all have just given me permission to talk grown. Let's talk grown. I think you women are beautiful. I think you are gorgeous. You're effervescent and you smell good like Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> and I love Tootsie Rolls. But you ladies have to believe in yourself for my words to have any meaning. Love yourself that I might love you better. Huh? See, because some of you women look good for no reason. That's what I said. <laughs> Here we go. You just look good. I don't care how good you look. That's a bonus. I need to know how deep you are in here. I need a ride or die, not a Tweety Pie. If I have to get out of my car door, you better be getting out of your car door. I don't want no woman to me. I'm going to call the police if I put some Vaseline on your face. And let's get ready to rock and roll. We love it when you women go get your hair done. That's sexy. We like it when you have your little facials, having your skin looking good. Yes, sir. <laughs> we like it when you have your little fingernails done, little toes done. Yes, sir. <laughs> we like it when you got your little cat snack looking good. Uh-uh, don't turn your head. You gave me permission to talk grown. We like it when your cat snack looking good. Some of y'all wear balls. Some of y'all put a little goatee at the bottom. And some of y'all don't know what a razor is. And I ain't got a problem with that either. I got a machete! I will get to the promised land sooner or later and ring that little bell. See, I see, I see beautiful Caucasian women here and I see beautiful Latino women here. I don't really know too much about that, but I know black women will sleep with their heads off the edge of the bed so they don't mess their hair up. I do know that. Black women will wake up with a crook in their neck. <laughs> But as long as their hair look good, they all right with that, ain't you ladies? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, well, wake up with a dick in your mouth sometime. It's time to get grown, goddammit. Y'all need to start sucking a little bit more dick than what y'all been sucking. I get tired of y'all bullshit thinking y'all too cute to suck a dick. Then you get an ugly girl that can suck a bowling ball to a turtle nut. Shit! Goodbye, pretty lady. Come here, hammer. See, because your good looks are gonna fade one day. But a good dick sucker will always be. A good dick sucker, and when she get old and the teeth fall out, it's gonna feel like a massage, you heard me? 